Hey guys, what's up Roman here from Tech Guides and in today's video I'd like to discuss the performance of Battlefield 2042 now that the day one patch has been released. So with this day one patch there have actually been some positive improvements regarding the performance in Battlefield 2042 as we'll see in this video and then I'm also going to show you the performance difference when you're running the game with different Nvidia drivers. So trying to figure out which is the best Nvidia driver that you can run at this current stage. And finally, I'm also going to take another look at a few configuration options of the settings files and see if they might positively affect performance in Battlefield 2042. So in terms of general improvements, I have to say that the game in fact does run smoother on my particular system with this day one patch. You can see a comparison on screen right now on the left hand side um, was before day one patch and on the right hand side after day one patch. And specifically you can see that the GPU utilization without tweaking the settings files uh, was around 80% before the patch and now it's where it's supposed to be around 96% all the time. You can also see that I'm getting about 20 FPS more using the day one patch. However, you should note I only tested this on one system and therefore you might get higher or even lower FPS depending on your PC specifications. Next, let's take a look at a comparison of different Nvidia driver versions and how much performance we get on each of these versions. On the right hand side, we have the latest driver, which according to Nvidia should ship with some improvements regarding the performance in BF2042. And overall, I have to say that I'm seeing a slight improvement in overall performance on the latest driver. So while before the day one patch, some people actually reported better performance on the 0.13 patch um, comparatively to the 0.49, right now I don't really see this difference anymore. And I would really just suggest to stick with the latest, so the 0.76 driver of Nvidia. Sadly, I'm not able to test this with AMD cards since I only own Nvidia graphics cards. Now, before the day one patch dropped, there was a bit of a workaround in order to lift the GPU underutilization in Battlefield 2042, which was to set the DX12 enabled flag in the settings file to 1. In my last video, I then argued that the game would be running at DX11, which is obviously nonsense because the game is only running at DX12 all the time. I'm not sure what this legacy option really did to the game, but it definitely and measurably increased GPU utilization before the day one patch. However, I should note that this is no longer the case after the day one patch. Since DICE has apparently fixed the GPU utilization issue in the first place, setting DX enable 12 to 1 does not make any difference whatsoever. In fact, I'm measuring slightly lower performance over all of the different drivers that I tested this with. However, these numbers might be within margin of error. Finally, a few people reported that they would see significant improvements in performance when they set the shadow quality flag, uh, which by default is at 1 to 0 in the settings file. However, from my testing, I actually find a slightly negative performance impact when setting shadow quality to 0. However, your mileage may as well vary. But overall, on my system, I'm getting the highest performance in BF2042 when I run the latest driver and when I set the DX enable flag to 0, as well as the shadow quality flag to 1. And sadly, this already concludes all the tips that I currently have on how to get more performance in BF2042. Now, obviously, this video hasn't been a full FPS guide as I used to do it, for example, for Code Warzone. However, I really want to wait for a few more patches to drop and only then I'm going to make an in-depth comparison of all of the different graphical options in the game and providing you with the information of which graphical settings affect performance in BF24 by how much. But as I mentioned, that video will have to wait for a couple more weeks until the game has been a little bit smoother because as it stands right now, the game, in my opinion, is practically unplayable. Well, at least at the official 128 player game modes such as Conquest and Breakthrough, the game, in my opinion, feels very sluggish. It's very unresponsive. Um, I'm getting a lot of frame drops and chittering simply due to this massive player count, I'm, I'm assuming, because when I'm playing Portal on one of these old school servers that provide the 64 player rush um, battlefield free experience, then the game truly feels absolutely amazing. So here's to hoping that DICE will finally figure out how to get the 128 player servers to play smoother or at least re-enable the option to play the game with 64 or 32 players. 
But that about wraps it up for today, guys. I'm actually really enjoying these old school BF3 matches. They really bring back good old memories from back then. So if you're also not having fun on the official game modes, then definitely hop over to Portal, even though this won't give you a lot of XP. Um, but that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.